you can see the gapping that I've created by bringing the two pieces, the inner edges of the pieces together. So I have a nice area here for a fill bead. Nice area here for a fill bead. In fact, I actually have a gap in the metals and that'll be fine. And in this position here, they're butted up closer together and you'll see what I do with that. I'll apply the heat slightly differently because I don't have that bevel corner. And then this one is going to be unique. I will demonstrate there's a slight overlap on this edge here. And I'm going to do that one without the use of any filler to demonstrate how you can use the base metal in this case as the actual fill material drawing the heat along that seam. So be watching that as I go through the four corners and you'll see the different approaches that I take with each of those. Okay, I've fixtured this for the first bead and I'm going to run this across in this direction. It's a little bit awkward for me to control the filler backhanded like this, but I'm going to run the torch from here across. I want you to see the formation of the bead and how it resembles TIG. The similarities are striking both in terms of the control of the heat and the introduction of the filler rod. So pay close attention to that. If you're interested in TIG welding, this exercise is really valuable. Okay, as always, we're going to start with our number two tip and getting a neutral flame. I'm going to hold the torch in my right hand. I want you to see the bead formation as I go across here. Again, we have a neutral flame. This is 16 gauge metal, 16 inch filler rod. I'm heating the metal to a molten point. When it starts to liquefy, I'll introduce the filler. Here we go. And again, I want you to note the striking similarities between this and TIG welding. In fact, I'm going to make a concerted effort to to make this uh, particular weld have a TIG look to it. Okay, now on this one, I am going to not introduce any filler material. I'm going to rely strictly on the overlap here of this piece. And so I want that to flow, if you will, and merge with this other piece. So I want you to see how heat alone and an excess of metal on this one rail uh, can actually amount to adequate filler for a weld. Again, this is going to be done without the introduction of any filler material. I'll go to a neutral flame, number two tip, 16 gauge metal, 4 psi on oxygen, 4 psi on acetylene, and we're going to control this puddle strictly with heat and make a weld without the introduction of filler material. Notice that I'm liquefying this and I'm pulling the puddle along with the heat. I want that TIG look when I'm done, frankly. Let's take a look at that. This is with, without the introduction of any filler material. And you saw that bead form. That's what it looks like. We've got a crown, we've got strength, we've got the bead formation that you're looking for, and all of that was done without the introduction of filler material.